Hello everybody, MacCar1877 here. Just got done watching a NASCAR virtual race or iRacing at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, and I think everybody really knows why we're doing this. Uh, pretty much NASCAR is put on hold along with every other major sporting event or really event in the world right now due to uh, uh, this virus or disease or pandemic that's going on right now. Uh, so NASCAR said, hey, we're going to come up with a way to still, you know, be active, have our drivers active uh, during this bit of a, a bit of a hold on the season. And they came up with iRacing. They said, you know what, we're going to race with our stars, you know, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson, uh, and bring in a couple of old guys, you know, Earnhardt Jr., Greg Biffle, coming to the iRacing series. And they're going to turn a few laps, and they've been doing that for the last two weeks. They did it in Miami last week, or the virtual Miami uh, last week. Uh, and then uh, at the virtual Texas Motor Speedway today. And it's pretty pretty interesting for me to watch. And um, I know I didn't do a video about Miami last week, which was won by Denny Hamlin. Uh, that's because I've been really busy that week and really didn't have time to even watch uh, the virtual uh, race. Uh, but I'm here this week, and let's get into it. Uh, so we had a couple of crashes at the beginning of the race. I know Kyle Busch was involved in some of them, and uh, a couple other couple other drivers i know later on in the race we had clint boyer greg biff will get involved in a bit of a of an incident daniel suarez trying to wreck somebody on purpose uh, ended up wrecking himself he got black flagged in this event so uh that was certainly some bit of some interesting uh news and interesting things that uh that uh, went on in the i race today uh, but overall it was really dominated by william byron and he was the fastest I guess race car uh, on the track or the fastest driver on the track he seemed to really know how to get around Texas Motor Speedway or the virtual Texas Motor Speedway and that's why he led uh, a huge majority of the 125 laps uh, another interesting thing though which is kind of why this might have been the reason William Byron didn't lead all the laps was because they still had to go down pit road for tires and fuel uh, but really tires tires were wearing off in this race uh, and you could tell lap times were declining by you know two to three seconds uh, along with the tires. When the tires would wear out, lap times would, uh, uh, I guess you would say, increase. So uh, that was certainly interesting that, that iRacing has a way to put that in place, that you know tires will wear and your lap time will fall if you don't get four uh, fresh tires or fresh tires at all. Uh, so that was certainly interesting. That kind of added to the strategic, uh, you know, the realistic uh, thing to the iRace. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, but anyway, even if you didn't watch the first 120 laps, the last five uh, were pretty fantastic with, I believe, three, four laps to go. Uh, William Byron has, once again, like I said, he's been leading almost every lap in this race. He's been pretty much dominating uh, the I race at Texas. And uh, Timmy Hill, and we all kind of, if you've been watching NASCAR for a long time, you know who Timmy Hill is, you know, kind of in the back of your mind. You're not even, you might not even know what he looks like or what car he drives. Uh, but he runs into the back. Of, of, on purpose, it gets, does, does a little bump and run on William Byron, and Byron goes up the racetrack and loses his track position, and Timmy Hill takes the lead. I believe it was Garrett Smithley that was in second at the time, and then we have you know some more trouble in the back, uh, bringing out a caution. But anyway, in the end, it was Timmy Hill and a pretty close finish uh, with him, and I believe it was the 37 race car. Uh, it was a really close finish between those two, uh, but Timmy Hill did... Uh, get to come on top and did get another iRacing win for him and he's been doing this iRacing thing for quite some time uh, and I'll tell you why I think this win is a kind of a big deal for Timmy Hill obviously it's not as big of a deal as winning an actual cup race or even a even a truck race for that matter uh, but it is a, I think a bit of a big deal for him considering you know his career he's been in the cup series for a little while now and raced a bunch of races he's raced 90 six NASCAR races in his career and he's never had a top 10 uh, much less a top five uh, so Timmy Hill's career really hasn't been the best now a lot of that a lot of that is to blame on the fact that a lot of his race cars that he gets in are not really high class or the best of the best race cars which is certainly why he doesn't get good finishes uh, so for him to win on uh, this is probably the biggest stage he's ever won on as far as you know racing goes um, because you got millions of probably at least over a million people watching this we had 900,000 people watching last week on Fox Sports 1 uh, and this race was on the Fox the big Fox uh, so you know there was at least a million people if I had to guess watching this uh, virtual race so for him to win on that stage and uh, to you know kind of say hey Timmy Hill you know I'm actually a person I'm real and I'm in NASCAR uh, certainly a big thing for him and um, 
can help him get, you know, a little bit of recognition for, you know, himself. Like, hey, Timmy Hill is real. He's a driver in NASCAR. That's who he is. So it's certainly a big thing for him. Not only that, it's a pretty big deal for the team. I believe it's VRI or VSI Racing, uh, which is the team that he drives for. Sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, and I believe Carl Long uh, is the owner of that race team. Uh, so it's kind of a big deal for him as well, considering his race car a version a virtual version but a version of his race car uh is on the tv screen uh with their sponsor in front of you know maybe a few million people uh it's certainly a big deal for him and that team so uh excited for timmy hill obviously it's not a real race it's not a real win uh as far as you know nascar cup series goes but still a pretty big deal for him today and congratulations to timmy hill really that's all i have to talk about I uh, didn't mean for this video to get this long, but that's all I have to talk about. I might see you guys next week after the virtual race at Bristol. Maybe not. We'll find out when it comes. Uh, but anyway, that's it. If you're not first, you're last. And let's get rowdy.